Well, I'm about to do some heart surgery. I learned uh, a couple of days ago that a very good friend of mine had a heart issue. And Russell and I will put on our surgical gown and sharpen our whatever it is we need to sharpen in order to do our repair work on this muscle. Except where is, where is the heart? Aha! I find it. Is that here? No, that's the brain. Well, I suppose I could just go by memory. Aha, there's a heart. Perfect. I think I've studied it enough to know what I'm doing. Come on, Russell, where are you? Nurse, number two pencil. Nurse, round edge scissors. This will make sense shortly, folks. Doesn't make sense now. It'll make sense when Russell joins me. There's Russell. Invite copy to clipboard. Paste. Okay, Russell. Join me and we'll we'll each do our own repair work here on Mr. M's uh, heart. You need the link? Oh, I thought I pasted it. Paste. There you go. I thought I, I thought that happened. See the link now?
is the link there. I see it on my thing here, but do you see it? Aha, you do see it. Okay, it is here. End of stream. Hello there, mister. Hello. Let's see if I can't get myself set up. Okay, Every sorry. Time. Oh, no. I mean, I was setting up before, and I've, and like every single time when I try and set up something, I experience technical difficulties like that. I see. Heighten the tripod here. So, how has it been? It's been okay. Um, I just thought that Mark might get a kick out of us trying our hand at heart surgery. Yeah, I was I was glad to hear the news, obviously. Yeah. I, I, I was not glad, of course, to hear that he had been having heart trouble. Yeah. But I was glad to hear that it turned out okay. Yes. Uh The best I can hear. Well, can we see okay? We can. Okay. All right. So let's see. I'm 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 planning my surgery here and repair work and and. Uh, I'll, I'll hold off as I ponder as you get yourself ready. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm, I have the embarrassment of riches here as I'm working with like this whole drawer full of uh, pens and highlighters. Although most of them seem to be about the same. So here's what I'll do. Here's a blue neon. I like that. Um, so we'll work with these. Okay. All right. Um, so hearts. Oh. Yep. There. I just thought it was dry for a second there. Of course, I might just be going too fast for it. Need to turn the lights on. <clears throat> Have you guys been having storms up your way? No. Have you been having storms down your way? Yeah, we had a, a thunderstorm last night, and the dog kept getting scared and barking from downstairs and keeping everybody awake so i had to let him sleep in the bed with me oh dear which was fine he didn't create any problems uh in fact he's been getting up at like two or three in the morning and barking and at get, at basically wanting attention so you know if it keeps him from doing that and bothering anybody, everybody else I might just uh, let him sleep in my bed for as long as he needs to yeah good 
I, I'm doing a slight aping of your drawing because I don't have any images of a human heart. So I see. Well, I'm adding a couple of uh, hose clamps just to keep it all together because hose clamps are are always good. Duct tape is a good thing too, but hose clamps. They can't be too tight because it has to pump, you know. Right. You, you want to keep it together. Now let's see what happens. A little bit here. That's some, that's some nice red paper you got there, by the way. Well, it's it's pretty good. It's nice to have color coordinated paper for your open heart surgery routine. Yes, yes. I mean, it, it has a very nice color to it. I wonder whether it's uh, conducive to drawing. It's a little uh, smooth, and so the it would I would prefer it if there was a little tiny bit of tooth. Okay, so, so I've, I've now bungee corded it. I mean, hose clamped it tightly. It'll, that's an important part of my repair job. I think a couple of... I have an idea where I'm going with this. I think a couple of staples. When when in doubt, staples always work. Absolutely. You know? Staples or duct tape, although I, I've never known duct tape to be used in, in, heart, uh, in heart surgery. Of course, I'm, I'm not a heart surgeon. I'm, I'm a bariatric surgeon. Okay. Um, I don't even know what bariatric means. I'm just claiming to be a bariatric surgeon. Well, uh, there you, we go. You repair bariatrics. <laughs> yes. I'm a bariatric surgeon. That means I work on bears. Just adding some I'm trying to think. I'm gold gold leafing a little bit of this because you know we have to we have to to make our surgery our own. Yes, absolutely. I think a couple a little bit of um, engraving, uh, hand engraving would be also nice on the on the on the heart. On the heart. The, the memory of it is engraved forever on his heart then. Yes. So uh, now. I don't know what else to do. I, I, I think I spoke too soon about our project here, but it came to me as <laughs> the story. You, you, yours, yours was already pretty well half done by the time we began. Which you know, well, com uh, commendations to you. It it was sort of half done as I was walking back, but I I <laughs> thought for sure uh, I would be it would, I'd have room to add more things I was going to do, but I don't know if I do. I could have some nano robots here doing things. Yes. I don't know whether it was it that high tech of a surgery. I don't know. It's I'm sure that it used bungee cords. So here are the little nano robots that are walking around and they're they're testing things out just to keep everything oiled and greased up and juicy. Yeah. 
Is that what nanobots are commonly used for in surgery to keep things oiled and juicy? Uh, in this case, th that's what they're used for. All right, I, I I I will believe you. They might be used for other in other in other uh, surgeries. Uh, they might be used for other things, but in this surgery, they are to keep. They are used to keep the, to keep the ticker well oiled. Well oiled is right. Another staple right there. So I did a very inadvisable thing all day yesterday. Oh dear! What did you do? It, well, you remember the the NFT thing I'm doing here, and yeah. the the first sketch I ended up doing. Yeah, I, I I got a little bit too interested in it, and I spent probably way too much time fleshing it out. And this was the one of brown the bees the, oh, bees, the bees no okay. brown would have been a whole lot of fun to do but they they liked the bees did you did you Somewhere. hide your name in it so that you can give yourself credit <laughs> no i didn't but i really should have i think you should have i mean how many times on that podcast or whatever it is did we hear the name moose be used, you know, six times at least. Yeah, I mean, basically, I'm going to I'm going to try and give them the benefit of the doubt and say, OK, you're just trying to keep things under wraps for now. OK, now it, it could easily come to the point where, no, they're not. They're just. uh <laughs> They're just a bunch of uh, idiots who don't know how to credit an artist work. Well, I think they ought to learn if their entire spiel is about art. They're capitalists. They don't need to know how to learn. I suppose that's true. Money doesn't have to do anything with learning things, silly. Money yeah. just has to do with making more money. Oh, um... I was, I actually um, was watching, well, I'm, I'm sort of taking away from the main topic right now, which should That's be okay. with Tomlinson, yeah. but I'll just leave it on this. I was watching a video actually on that one fellow, v Gary Vaynerchuk, that I told you yeah. about. Yeah, yeah. And um, it was interesting the takeaway from it. Um, at the very end, he basically said that what Gary is sort of proposing is that, um, well, Gary sort of has this program where, you know, you've got to work, work all the time, work and work until like spend all your time absolutely working. So, you know, the takeaway from it is that, you know, at the very end, his philosophy is destroy everything out of your life that isn't backbreaking work. Uh -huh. uh, and that doesn't produce money. And then, um, oh yeah, um, and he basically be... said at the end when he says "be yourself," he's really said he, he's basically proposing to like um, post loads of things on social media. Uh, that's one of his business advice. That's his biggest business tip from for, from like all of his conferences. Post uh -huh. like 20 times on social media every day. And he doesn't say post anything of quality. He just says post things. Yeah. And so his, his ultimate thing is keep trying things until you find something that people like and then keep reproducing that over and over again. Okay. But, but you know, the guy started out in the wine business. And also... Um, his his first enterprise, literally, he says, like his first enterprise in his biography, is um, ripping flowers out of his neighbor's garden, okay, and then selling them back to them. 
Okay. So, uh, <laughs> so when should he like, be thrown in jail? I mean, it's just... Uh, I, he won't be. <laughs> He's not going to be. But um, the, it's, it's an interesting takeaway. Like, the idea that, you know, what am I getting at? Well, it just sounds like yeah. these people are seem to want you to just uh, make money and uh, actually having fun or having a fulfilled life um, isn't as important as making money. Well, that's not success in their eyes. No. But um, I was curious, actually, thinking again about him, because it's been a long while since I'd heard much from him or much about him, uh, how Mark's bookmaking is going or whether he's gone on any independent enterprises. I don't know. Uh, he's one of these people who uh, is like Haley's Comet. He He's off in the deep outer space and then comes back for a a brief visit uh with a big long tail and then he uh goes back off into the distance again so um i i don't know what's up with him but uh we'll hopefully we'll connect up with him soon with his new improved ticker. Well, you're making a primary colored ticker. Pretty much. Uh, I have no idea where I'm going with it, but I okay. have I have some idea of where I'm going with it. Well, I've uh, I've stopped mine already. Um, but with your, your ticker's done, stopped. My, my, no, it's working fine. Ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. It's, um, I think it looks like it'll last for a good long time with those nano robots keeping things tightened and oiled and lubed up. Um, but, uh, I wish I could figure out a different way to, to draw it. Um, I'm not very creative at the moment. I did uh, just go to the store to get some peanut butter and jelly, and some milk. Did they have milk. the strawberry? They did not. They did not have the strawberry, but I, I did have... What's wrong with these people? I don't know, but I did, I did manage to uh, discover that I had some of that here. But one of my neighbors oh, is... Good a uh in the building and she gets some food that she cannot uh use uh so she her caregiver just ran into me and gave me a bunch of free food and free food is good yes um and I'm adding some more gold plating to this gold leafing to to the heart here. Wow, yours is quite it's bright. It's well it's uh... it, it's it's looks very happy, a happy heart. A happy heart is a healthy heart. Exactly. Just like Homer said. Yes. And the, during the Odyssey, that was one of the things. A happy heart is a healthy heart. Yeah, it's the it's the part where um, where Odysseus uh, is uh, receiving advice from his uh, from his cardiologist. <laughs> I see. 
It's not they they don't put it in many translations. No, no. It's a bit strange that they wouldn't. Seems like good advice. It does seem like good advice. Uh oh. That's one polychromatic heart there. Oh, yeah. Your heart looks excellent. You get some more blue here. Well, that is that is pretty blue. What are you drawing now? I'm just sort of sketching out something for the heart to stand on. I might right. have to get a black marker in here at some point. But is this going to be on, on elephants and turtles? I don't know. I, I expect if it's on a pedestal, it would have to be on some point. See, I'm, I'm beginning to lose. Tr I'm beginning to lose track because, yeah, the world is on a pedest pedestals, which are on the backs of elephants. Yeah, which are on the backs of the elephants, which are on the backs of the turtle, which is held up by another four pedestals. No, no, turtle now. Turtle, turtle. I don't see why you're so insistent upon this. Because it's turtles all the way down. It's not turtles and pedestals and elephants all the way down. It's turtles all the way down. Once it gets to a well, turtle. You know, it's, it's, I mean, if it, it's only turtles all the way down just because, you know, if you said turtles, elephants, and pedestals all the way down, it wouldn't have quite the same ring to it. Now, would it? That's why it's only turtles. It, turtles. Now, it's it's just a simple way of saying things. It's like, you know, it's like, you know, it's like how they say in 1492, Columbus sailed the ocean blue. You know, it, it sounds good like that, but it wouldn't sound so great if it's if it was in 1492, Columbus sailed the ocean blue after uh, annoying the Spanish queen so much that she finally gave him two piece of shit boats and a crew, and then he went out and uh, uh, cheated his uh, crewmates out of money that he promised to the first one to spot land, and then started a colonization campaign against indigenous Americans. It wouldn't sound that great like that. No, it wouldn't. <laughs> but it, wouldn't. It, it doesn't sound that good when you put it like that, does it? It doesn't sound that good when you put it like that, but turtles all the way down is different. The thing about Prismacolor pencils is you can't put Prismacolor pencils on top of Prismacolor pencils. You can only blend them. Without putting another column and elephants in between. See, it's not Prismacolor all the way down. It's Prismacolor you need an entire new, this is, oh, right now it's too colorful. I've made it too right. colorful. So. I, I, I do not see the same thing. I enjoy it very much. You 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 like the color? I, I enjoy the color. I'm just going to tone down some of the color. Well, can I turn this into a Hallmark card for Valentine's Day? Do you think that could, this would sell? I think so. 
I mean, you have all of these things on it. The Hallmark card uh, could be, you destroyed my heart, but I've been able to repair it anyway. Okay. Because of you, my heart is black and blue. But I sailed the ocean blue and gave the indigenous people syphilis. Or did they give the Europeans syphilis? Where did that come from? I'm pretty sure the Europeans would have brought uh, diseases. I don't know who had the syphilis, if anybody did. It seems to me they blamed it on the indigenous people for a while, and then they realized that they they actually... <laughs> and then they realized, oh, wait, we had syphilis the whole time. I think that that's true. Uh, but I think there was a time when they blamed uh, the indigenous Americans for syphilis. Uh, that wouldn't surprise me, but I'm, I can't. I can't along, speak along, to the veracity of such things. Along with, you know, coffee and cocoa and and tomatoes and things like that. New world plants. Yes. All of the treasures of the new world. Cocoa, gold, the coffee, syphilis. Origins of syphilis. Let's just see. Confused. This is, this is, Debate about it has been confused. Blah, blah, blah. Ever since early 16th century, Europeans blamed each other. Calling it the Venetian, Naples, or the French disease. <laughs> um, I don't know so much about the French disease or the... Naples disease, but the Venetian disease I can see. Yeah. Don't um, tell the Venetians I said that. Ancient and medieval sources have long cited as evidence syphilis in Europe before Columbus. Uh, Knew it. Okay. And the Rothschilds analyzed North American collector of skeletons for syphilis cases. So let's blame the Rothschilds. What, the uh, Rothschilds? They had a collection of skeletons, I guess, that old world. Okay, if that doesn't prove that the Rothschilds were fucked up, I don't know what, you know, they just happened to collect a bunch of syphilis infected skeletons just because <laughs> just because just because um is is what we do well let's let's hope that qAnon hears this and they'll come up with some other reason for the Rothschilds controlling the world bankers and See, the thing is, the Rothschilds actually did have a bunch of influence. It's not entirely untrue. They just draw the wrong conclusions from it. Yes. Like, for example, they did a lot of funding of, um, of Italy's War of Independence. Because they had a bunch of banking interests. Well, what would, what would uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene say about that? She would... She would, she would also say that they developed the gazpacho, 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 the Nazi gazpacho, <laughs> the Nazi gazpacho soup. Yes. God. Oh Lord. How do we get into these subjects? We started out trying to draw hearts to do something nice for a friend, and then we end up talking about Nazis and syphilis. Well, it's it's free form thinking. I'm sure that I'm sure that Mark would appreciate our our changing the subject from heart. Uh, 
Yeah, I'm, I'm sure he's 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 done with hearing about hearts for a little while. Yeah. Well, I'm going to give you another two minutes. Okay. And then I have to um, get some food in me because I haven't had breakfast yet. Yeah, I'm going to have to do that too and then head out here after a little bit. I might as well just color the whole color the rest of the thing in here. Well, I'm sure that that Mark and his heart surgeons will appreciate our help. Yes. We've we've we can help them draw a conclusion on the state of his heart health. Yes. Something like that. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Um We'll do one more minute, mister. All right. Um, it's, it's, it's my, my stomach requiring the, requiring the, uh, the adjournment. So. All right. I see that you have him. You have your heart on a uh, ionic on column. some kind of pedestal. Yes, an ionic. I column. always get them confused. Ionic have the volutes. Corinthians have the ulala, and the Dorics just have the flutes. Right. I think. Well, who has the drums? Uh, Etruscan. I think I think I think Etruscan just is the the simplest of all, where it's literally just pillars and nothing else. Yes, yeah, no reason to tart it up with any debris. There, we're done. Oh, that's, that's that's the end. Okay, well, get. Get get better, Mark. All right. Bye. Ciao. Oh.